All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to break down the cost analysis of a battery electric vehicle versus a gas vehicle. All right. So let's get plugged in Jamaica. All right. So let me just share my screen here. And we're going to just break down the costs, starting with the maintenance costs of a battery electric vehicle versus a gas vehicle. And you have heard it in the other videos being said already that really there's little to no cost of owning an electric vehicle versus a gas vehicle when it comes to maintenance. And let me just show you how much it was for us last year, 2022. So these are our two vehicles here. We have the Nissan Leaf and the RAV4. Now look at these people. I service the RAV4 every quarter, every three months. And servicing would include like, you know, the regular basic servicing. This does not include tires to be checking like your oil, um, the filters, cabin filters, air filters, um, checking spark plugs, making sure everything is okay. So this would include parts and labor. And overall, the cost for the RAV4 was roughly around $100,000 for the year. And this is excluding tires. For the Nissan Leaf, however, there are no spark plugs. I mean, there's no oil to change. Um, just literally just the brakes to check and the washer fluid, right? And we changed the cabin filter. There's no air filter. So we did this, you know, six months at a time <laughs> just to check it. Um, nothing too hard. And this includes parts and labor again. And as you can see, it's way below $25,000. So maintenance costs, clearly uh, EV would cost you much less um, than a gas vehicle. We knew that as an advantage for EVs from before, right? So let's move on to the next, the next category would be charging versus fueling an electric vehicle. All right, so when you're charging the car right now i mean there are less charge points than you would have gas stations at the moment in jamaica so that would be no a con against electric vehicles however i'm mostly charged at home so i'm going to share with you my data for the last three months of 2022 what it was costing me to charge at home and i predominantly do that i don't charge um mainly outside of my home unless i'm doing a video like this or you know you know maybe want to make a another errand on the road which was very few times last year so this is just for charging at home and as you can see in october it's showing you here i mean i charged almost every day so you're seeing 28 days worth of charging here and an average daily usage of just a little over 10 kilowatts per hour. So, I mean, pretty much almost every day I'm charging in the month of October here. So let's go look at November, 19 days out of the month I charged. Still not as much as October, but, you know, pretty much every day. And I charged on average 11 kilowatts per hour in November. December charged 24 days out of the month on average about 9.4 kilowatts per hour daily and you've seen the total kilowatt hours there and this is from my app the Enel X app um, pretty cool app I mean I can track my usage I can decide what time I want to charge the car so I can wait until the you know the battery cools I can charge the 80 percent which I've been doing just to you know for battery health reasons and that has been a really cool app for us here so you ready for it this is what the cost breakdown is now that is the data for the leaf versus the RAV4 and as you can see it's still in favor of the leaf where mark you we drive the electric car more than the RAV4 at the moment we have been doing this from 2019 and you're seeing here in October, it's costing me roughly $20,000 for the month for the leaf. 
Well, the RAV4 was costing me about $45,000. The most it went up to was near 50, but the leaf is consistently below $20,000 to charge. So again, much cheaper to charge a vehicle than to add gas to the vehicle. All right, so again, this is another win for the electric vehicle. All right, but let us look at some pros and cons. So owning an electric vehicle is much cheaper. It's much more affordable. I mean, you get better money management because you pay once a month with your light bill. Uh, while with the gas, you know, you'd have to do a little bit more management in terms of um, weekly or every two weeks adding gas to your car find a cheaper gas station while well, the rate gps generally stays about the same of course the fluctuation in the dollar affects it but at least you have the OUR <laughs> so but to protect you in the the um the huge jumps in the cost of electricity for the home opportunity to charge from renewable sources to me this is one of the biggest uh, most attractive benefits of owning an ev yeah, it speaks to energy independence. I mean, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have probably gotten solar along with buying the electric vehicle. We are going solar and that is coming on the channel soon. But um, from the get go, we'd have gone solar. Um, we'd have saved a lot of money. So again, opportunity to charge from renewable energy. And charge overnight, I mean, I don't miss the, the gas lines. Um, sorry for Kimmy. Kimmy mostly drives the rough one over. I mean, I don't miss the gas lines at all. The scent always was a bother for me. Maybe it's not for you, but yeah, that was a, a pro for me. Uh, take advantage of free charging. I mean, there are opportunities for you to charge. Some businesses now offer free charging once you're using their, their services, their business. Uh, we have on this channel June supermarket featured Mr. Uh, one there and you know once you're doing shopping at his establishment you get one hour free charging um, you can go to AC hotel dine there enjoy the facilities there you can charge for free and there are a few others out there now that are offering these services so take advantage of it while it's there and um, EV is more efficient than gas so I showed you so almost half in the cost in terms of charging and it's really not fair because i did more kilometers on the leaf than the rav4 but i didn't want to get too technical just comparing from our experience it's it is much cheaper to charge the, the ev and zero emissions i mean this is also big for me it speaks to health wellness and well-being um a lot of the emissions especially in cars that are not very efficient or don't burn the fuel very efficiently. You have these emissions that can cause respiratory illnesses and also it's bad for the environment. All right. So overall, these are some pros for the EV. But I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, an EV hugger. <laughs> there are some cons and there are some things that would benefit someone with a gas car. Um, more than EV and some pros for gas cars that they're more uh, refueling points for you to add gas to your car at the moment. I mean, for me, this wasn't a biggie because, as I said, I charge from home and I could travel from Kingston to St. Catherine and back without a problem. Um, however, of course, I do wish I could have driven to Mobay <laughs> in the early days. If you look back at some of our previous videos, you, you see the range anxiety on my face. I just to go to Orcherias was a bit of a challenge and takes a lot of planning beforehand and make up your mind that you're going to drive slow. But I mean, that is less of a con now. You, the newer cars will carry you around Jamaica, no problem. Um, and of course, saving a lot of money. The initial purchase cost tends to be lower for a gas car than an EV. But I mean, I made back my money <laughs> probably the first year we made back our money just because of the maintenance cost savings and you know cost of charging the car so versus buying gas i, I was able to make that difference however no 
Um, even if you've seen the news where Tesla reducing the cost of their vehicles up to 20% and more, I mean, the cost of a comparable vehicle in the same class, EV versus gas, it is much closer now, especially with the tax incentives overseas and also here in Jamaica, where there's no GCT if you're importing a new EV, and also there is no import duty. Well, for newer cars, there's only a smaller import duty, 10%, 30% if it's three years to six years, right? So again, that is a con, that's a pro still for gas cars because they're still a little cheaper, but it's becoming a little bit more balanced. Also, the maintenance expertise here on the island is still in favor of gas cars. More mechanics for you to fix your gas car at the moment, if anything should happen to you. But my experience again, guys, because there's less moving parts, there's hardly anything to fix or maintain. So I haven't had the need to do that. However, if you do need, there are more trained uh, mechanics, persons with the expertise now in Jamaica to do it. Thank God. I mean, there's another video again that we did uh, showing a cohort of mechanics being trained uh, by Andy. So you can check that out. And, you know, there'll be more on the island as um, time passes by. So, again, not such of a con for me. So, in the end, guys, just to conclude, I mean, EVs more affordable. The driving an EV is better for the environment and for your health. The big one for me too is EVs pair well with renewable sources of energy, right? So you can charge next to free once you own the solar PV system. And as public charging increases, the one disadvantage is range anxiety, um, less topping up points than if you were to buy gas. That disadvantage becomes uh, less and less of an inconvenience. So, I mean, <laughs> It's, it's it's all good and you know looking well for evs here in jamaica but i want to know from you guys what do you think about the, the ev take up so far and i mean what questions do you have about evs uh, we could tackle them here we could you know mention them in the chat and we'll try to address it in another video coming up so thank you again for watching this video and stay plugged in jamaica